Hey all, welcome back to the channel. If you're struggling when it comes to getting those tasks in Outlook and Teams, and wanna get them into Microsoft To Do or Planner without copy and pasting or rewriting them up, this video is for you. In fact, what I'm gonna show you today is how we can very easily convert a single message in Outlook or Teams into a task in Microsoft Planner or To Do. Not only that, I'm also gonna share a way that you can view all of your tasks across To Do and all of your Microsoft Planner plans in one single place. So that's a great way to manage multiple Microsoft Planner tasks and plans that you have without going across every single different plan and get a summarized view of your day. And if you like this video, we'd love it if you hit that like button and follow us for more great content in the future and help our small channel grow. Otherwise, sit back, enjoy this tutorial. It's gonna save you minutes every day that you can spend on doing the more important things. So did you know we can actually create a Microsoft To Do or Planner task pretty easy from Microsoft Teams? So here I am inside the Microsoft Teams and I have a bunch of posts. And what I can simply do is take one of these posts and transition it into a Microsoft To Do or Planner task in a couple of clicks. All we need to do is find the post in this scenario in my Microsoft Team, hover over it and click the free dot menu and then select create task. And once we do that, you'll see a dialogue up here. And if you don't see the Create Task button, just look under the free dot more options menu and you'll probably find it hiding there. And in this dialogue that then applies, you can see it has the subject of the message or the body of the message at the top of the screen, including it inside of the notes and a hyperlink to get back to that Teams message when I create a task from it. It also allows us to set a priority and also when it's due. So I can set this to be due by the end of the week. Now, of course, you might be thinking, that's great, but if I use Microsoft to do, what shall I select? And then by default, it will automatically get put in Microsoft to do because it notes tasks, and those are your tasks in Microsoft to do. Clicking into the drop down though, we can actually see the different lists of tasks I've created in Microsoft to do. So I might want to organize it there and assign it to someone inside of that list later or it also shows teams and groups where a planner exists. So if I expand our project zero, we can actually see I can add as a project zero plan and I can also set the bucket where this actually should apply to inside of that Microsoft plan in planner and even define the progress. Now, as we're focusing right now on to do, I'm gonna change it back into the task itself. So it's gonna go into my Microsoft to do. I can then click on add task and that now will be posted into Microsoft To Do. And we can visibly see it here on the screen. There is my task. If I left click into it on the right hand side of Microsoft To Do, we see the link to get straight back to that message in Teams. And I can now further expand on subtasks or add further notes. But I've just taken a Microsoft Teams post, converting it into a task in To Do that I can now manage. I don't have to go and create that elsewhere or create a handwritten list of all of my tasks to do inside of Teams. But not only that, you can also use that exact same capability for group chat or chat messages in Teams. Head back into Teams, then go into your chat and find a chat message that relates to a task. And I've got one here. I can hover over the message, the freed up menu, select create task. And at this point, again, I can do much the same. Now in this scenario, it might be a shared task inside a Microsoft Planner. So let's go down and create this into Project Zero. We're gonna select Project Zero Planning, which is my planner, and I'm gonna give a progress as in progress at the moment. We're actually trying to figure out who's best to speak with on this task. But importantly, I'm not gonna be doing that job. That's one of my colleagues, right? So I can click on Assign, and it will show me people inside of that Microsoft Plan team or group, and I can select their name from the drop down. So I'm gonna allocate this over to Adele. Now once we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Add Task, and we'll now have that synced into Microsoft Planner. Not only that as well, because we actually pushed it into Planner, and we had the checkbox to add a reply to this chat, we actually see that a dynamic card's been added to the group chat, and it actually shows I've created a task for this inside the Microsoft Planner, and I can click into view details and I can have quick access to the plan and the task itself and make any changes to it. 
So there's no need for you to copy and paste that into Microsoft Planner and all of those notifications still apply to your wider team or group that are inside of your plan. So a nice easy way to take a Teams post message and a Teams chat message, put it into Microsoft To Do or Planner in just a couple of clicks. Hey all, there's no need to adjust your YouTube sets. I'm here to tell you a little bit more about what we do as a company. So your 365 coach has been set up to help you, your team and your business succeed when it comes to Microsoft 365. Whether you wanna take our training and take your expertise to the next level or have one of our team, including myself, help you on that journey with getting things right in Microsoft 365, we can certainly do that as well. So if you wanna find out a little bit more what we do, head to the link below. And not only that, you'll even find a free ebook you can download with loads of tips and tricks in Microsoft 365. So let's get back to that video content and keep empowering you to do more in Microsoft 365. So if you're anything like me, you'll spend a lot of time in Outlook. And Outlook, there's also capability to create a task in To Do and Planner. Now in the classic version of Outlook, which I'm using currently, those options aren't as advanced as what's in the newer version of Outlook, which we're also gonna check out in this video. So on this classic version, what we can simply do in the first scenario, if you have an email you wanna follow up with in To Do, is you can flag an email. In this scenario, I can right click an email and I can then set as a follow up and I can mark it as this week. Now when we do that, it will synchronize into a section in Microsoft To Do for flagged email. And when it does, you can then manage it inside of your flagged email or transition it into a task. So a simple way there to manage it. But also there are different ways we can work with To Do in this way. Head back into your email and on the right hand side, I've opened my task window. If you're not sure how to do that, we're gonna to go to the top in your ribbon bar, select view, and then under to do bar, we're gonna select tasks. Now that's not a Microsoft to do bar, just a to do bar generally in Outlook. And on tasks on the right hand side, this will also synchronize your tasks from Microsoft to do. You can also right click into here and you can also create a new task. So here I might have a catch up with my manager for later on this week. So catch up with manager. I can then define a start date and a due date. So starting today, it's gonna to be due later on this week and I can add some further detail around where I'm gonna meet my manager. But with that done, I can click on save and close and that will now synchronize into Microsoft to do on my task list. We can visibly see that by going into your task list inside of here and you'll now pick up that new task when it syncs through onto your task list. Now, if there's any delay in getting that through, you can always click into your name in the top left and click on sync and it'll do an immediate sync of all your tasks. And there it is, catch up with manager due on Friday. So we can manage a task very easily inside of Outlook in that way. But you're probably thinking, can we clear it down in Outlook and sync it back to to-do? And you can of course do that as well. Head back into Outlook. We can actually check our catch up with manager, right click, and I'm now gonna mark as complete. Once again, go back into Microsoft to-do, We'll sync our task list to make sure it gets pulled through immediately. And we will then see the catch up with the manager disappear from my task list when it's been synced with Outlook. It will then appear under the completed task at the bottom once that then applies. So it's very easy for you to then clear these tasks down from your task list using Outlook as a mechanism to do so. But this all feels pretty clunky, right? And Microsoft have done a better job in a newer version of Outlook. Now, if you have that newer version available, you can of course run it. And to some, this may not provide all the capability you want right now. But if you wanna give it a go, you can do it in two ways. You can either try the new Outlook by turning it on so your desktop app gets upgraded to the latest version of Outlook to use this capability. If you don't fancy that though, head into our web browser and we'll go to office.com. Then once we're in office.com, we can then go into Outlook and that will use Outlook on the web. And that also is running the most recent and modern version of Outlook with this new capability to manage your tasks. So inside of Outlook here, we then have on the right hand side, your to-do bar. Now if you don't see that on the right hand side, you'll have to also enable that. Now I've just closed mine down here and to re-add my to-do bar, I can just click on the calendar of the tick icon in the top right and see my to-do area. So what that simply means is, 
I can drag and drop one of our emails and I can just left click drag and drop into add as a task. And once I've done that, it'll then drop in as a brand new Microsoft to do task. We can see it here at the top of the screen. And to manage that task, well, I can simply check the task off in to do, which gets it synced. Or I can click on the email to review the email to which it relates. Or I can right click and I can open it in to do all through the web interface. But when I drag and drop those emails, of course, if I go into Microsoft to do, you'll see them appearing in your task list. So very easy to manage Microsoft to do in the newer version of Microsoft Outlook, whether that's on your desktop or on the web. And that's the future of being able to manage your Microsoft to do tasks in a very simple way in a new modern task board on the right hand side of your Outlook. And not forgetting as well in this new experience of Outlook, you can also click on add a task at the top and you can do much the same as what we did in the older version of Outlook. Here we can have a catch up with my manager once again and I can click on the add button to the right and it will then add the task. To synchronize that completion, just check the box on the left hand side or mark it as important with the star icon. Add further detail in the to-do app on your computer or via the web experience. Very simple to use to do inside of Outlook in this way. But you're probably also thinking, if I have all these tasks in to-do, all these tasks in planner, how can I get a view of them all? Well, the great news is inside of Microsoft Teams, you can actually get an app that's called Tasks by Planner and To Do. It's not automatically added for you, so to enable it, click on the freed up menu, and then you can search for the app called Tasks. And that's Tasks by Planner and To Do. Left click into it, and you'll then have it available inside of Microsoft Teams. And inside of this Tasks app, well, you can access all of your Microsoft To Do tasks. You can click into them, you can see all the further detail, including the sub lists or the sub tasks. You can see all of your personalized lists that you've either created yourself or shared with others that you can maintain and all the relevant due dates. Not only that, you have all of your Microsoft Planner tasks also showing. Here's my Project Zero Planner. I've added that task on a bit earlier today. You can actually see once again, we get a summarized list of all of those tasks. But the benefit inside of your My Day it's going to show all of those tasks across all of your plans and to do. So it's a very handy way to pull all of your actual Microsoft plans, your to do list in a single place. Not only that, you also have the ability to look at your charts and do filtering. So in my task list, I might want to be able to filter by what's coming up tomorrow. I can select filter by tomorrow and see any tasks or filter this week and so forth. I can also summarize them to end things that have been completed or active. And inside of my Microsoft Planner tasks, well, I have a simple way to get to a board view and also to see a charts view and the schedule view all through the tasks by Planner and To Do app inside of Teams. And there you have it. Whether you need to create a task from Outlook or Teams, we've got you covered. And also put all of your tasks from Planner and To Do across all of your projects inside of one app in Microsoft Teams. I hope you enjoyed this video and can use these tips to increase your own productivity. And if you did, we'd love it if that like button, and not only that, subscribe to find more great content like this in the future to help our small channel grow. Otherwise, we'll be seeing you in the next one.